database seeding helps to set up the database with some initial data that we can use in the application. Suppose we are having a table called countries and inside the countries table we want to store all the countries name and other details. Now in the front end part of our application we are using a form that contains a select field where the end user will choose his or her country. And in that select field, we will display options scrapped from our database. In that case, database seeding is necessary, where we create a seeder and push all the country's name in that seeder function. And when we run that seeder, it will automatically store the countries into our database for further use. So let's figure out how we can create seeders. The command to create a seeder in Adonis 5 is node s make seeder seeder name. The seeder is created and now if you go to the folder seeders when we create our first seeder, it will create a folder called seeders inside the database directory. And here we are having our seeder called item.ts. Again, it's a class that is extending the base seeder class. Now, here is just a single method inside our class and that is run. Write your database queries inside the run method. That's it. Whatever we want to execute in our database, we must include that inside this method. So the first thing we need to do, we will use our model, our Lucid model to create and store records into our database. So let's import our item model. For now, we will just need this single method, create many. Inside the create many method, we can pass any number of items. And each item here is an object. So our first object is The first thing we need to remember is each item is having some sort of properties and in our case the properties are mentioned in the migrations file id name quantity price and the timestamps that is created at and updated at now in the seeder file we are just using name price and quantity because the ID is auto increment and it's a primary field so it will be automatically added by the database and for the rest of the two fields when we are using model it will automatically create because here you can see the auto create is set to true so whenever we create a record using lucid model it will automatically create the value for these two fields Now let's add two or three random values. So here I have added few values, but make sure that the values are wrapped inside an array because we are adding more than one value. So this is our code inside the run method. Await item dot create many and there are total three objects that we want to create and store into the database. So let's save it and now we want to run our seeder. 
So there is a command called DB seed, which will seed all the seeders available inside the seeders folder. It's showing completed. Now let's use our DB browser to see whether these items are inserted or not. So here is our DB browser. Now we need to open our database. Now we need to look inside our items table. In order to do that, we can just go ahead and execute an SQL query. Select star from items. Here you can see we just filled the name, quantity and price. The rest of the three fields, ID, created at and updated at, these three are auto created by Adonis. So this is how database seeder works in Adonis.